Betsy, now on your feet at five, former Ohio State football head coach Urban Meyer is apologizing after video of him at a bar in Ohio went viral over the weekend. Myers is currently the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Lindsey Buckingham has been following this story all day, and it's taken some recent turns even after his apology. Lindsey, not good for the former Buckeye coach. No, it is not, Jay. This was probably not the best start of the week for Urban Meyer and his family after this video surfaced over the weekend. Here's what happened. After the Jacksonville Jaguars played the Bengals in Cincinnati Thursday night, Meyer has said he didn't fly back to Florida with his team after the game so he could get dinner with family. Later that night at his own bar, someone shot video of a woman who is not his wife dancing against him. It went viral over the weekend, but just hours before Meyer's wife Shelly commented on another photo of the coach with friends, sharing she had stayed home to babysit the couple's grandkids with the hashtag Buddy deserved a night out. She has not said anything since, but Meyer has. At a news conference this morning, a contrite Meyer said he's apologized to his family and team. Yeah, that's not me, and that's, uh, uh, oh yeah, they're upset. I, uh, I just apologize to the team and staff and uh, for being a distraction, just stupid. Uh, and so I explained everything that happened, and owned it and you know just stupid uh should not have myself in that kind of position well so far the jaguars have not released a statement and there is no word yet on whether or not meyer could face discipline Jay, a lot of people are saying that he could be fired. What is your take on this? Well, uh, could he be? Absolutely. Um, most coaches have a morals clause in their contract, and that basically is a little vague. But when you look at this video, it's cringeworthy for sure. And the Jags would probably be able to make a pretty so strong case that this violated the morals of the company that they run. Already today, commentators and former NFL players are saying that he has to go. Typically, I mentioned that, um, you know, the head coaches have these morals clauses. When a player does something like this, it's much more difficult to get rid of the player. They have the power of the union behind them. I was just going to mention that. Yeah, that's not the case here with Urban Meyer. Now, he's 0-4. And there are reports that things are not harmonious inside the Jacksonville Jaguars organization. He hasn't been happy, according to some of these reports, and there's a lot of dissension within the team. There is also, and this is worth bringing up, a top college job open. We know how Meyer has bounced around from these big marquee jobs. Right now, the USC job is open, and there are a lot of folks that are connecting the dots between Urban Meyer and USC. Jags had a 14-0 lead in Cincinnati on Thursday. It looked like they were going to get their first win. They blew that game and lost, falling to 0-4. Urban Meyer was in Columbus for seven years. In those seven years, his teams lost nine games. He's lost almost half of that in four weeks. So, and when you watch him coach, it's clear this is wearing on him. Whether or not he survives this, we'll have to wait and see. I think it is telling that we haven't heard anything from the Jags yet. I think so too, and I think it couldn't. The timing couldn't be worse after that loss. Yeah. 0-4, oh, a lot of, lot of uh, discord with the team. We'll follow this and see where it goes next. Lindsay, thank you very much.